Alright guys, as you saw on the title of the video, I got another nuclear in the DLC maps. This one's going to be on Splash. This map, out of all the DLC maps, is the one that I'm actually having the hardest time, I had the hardest time getting a nuclear on. I still haven't gotten a map, I, I still, I almost got a nuclear on the map Rise, but I don't, I'm kind of um, debating whether or not I should upload the, it was like a 27, 27 gun streak, I died four off the nuclear. I don't know if I should upload it or not because eh. But this game this map out of all the maps I, I, I like like this is the one I've been having the hardest time getting a streak on because the there's so many spots that you can get you like you like there's so many spots that it's just kind of like I don't really know how to explain it. Like I don't really have like there's not really any way you could really um unless you have a really good team if you're running solo there's no way we, you can really run spawns and you can't really play too rushy cuz there's so many spots that they could be held up at like um you know posted up at just waiting for people to walk by like in this area where I'm at right now in the gameplay there is that middle and the it's like this is where you go to die the middle part of the map that's the case in a lot of um, Call of Duty maps, but it's especially in this one, you're more likely because there's a window right in the middle of the map, and then there's these two slides overseeing this part of the map. There's the blue slide that I was just in, and on the other side, I believe it's red or pink slide that oversees that part of the map, and you never know if someone's there. So I really try. I do go in the middle of the map a couple times during this gameplay, but typically I only do it if I know there's no one there, like if I have a radar up or something. But if I go there, it's because I'm pretty, I'm feeling pretty cocky. But most of the time, I wouldn't recommend on this map going towards the middle part of the map. What I do recommend for you guys to do, if you want to try to get nuclear on this map particularly, <coughs> part, sorry, particular, I can't talk today, but you know what I'm trying to say. You want to try to kind of like control the choke points. And what I mean by that is there's, and with Treyarch Call of Duty maps, their maps always have three lanes. The middle lane, which I am in right now. Then you have the left and right lane, depending on, well, my left could be your right, depending on which side of the map you spawn on. Now, to control choke points is to, you need to, like, you need to, um, kind of be a little bit more patient, wait for people to come to you instead of playing super rushy. Now, I only, the only reason you should play rushy is if you have radar on, such as a VSAT or a UAV. That's the only time like you can be a little bit more aggressive, because as you can see here, I have my radar up, and I, that allows me to be a little bit more. Um, it's a little, you know, I can get away with more stuff because I know where they're spawning, and it allows me to be more aggressive because I don't have to worry about. Um, I don't have to worry about getting shot in the back because I, of course, I wouldn't make that stupid decision knowing if they're where they're at because of the VSAT, and that's just one of the a couple good tips that I could give to you guys see now that radar is off uh, you're gonna notice that I start playing a lot more cautiously I'm not very rushy I, I play a little bit more campy and I try to be really cautious of my surroundings and since I don't really have a good headset you can still kinda sound over the headset I use but you have to be a little bit you have to listen really really well so um, going into the next round, I'm going to talk over, I'm going to talk over and tell you guys what I was kind of thinking at the moment, all the decisions that I made. So, going into this round, I had a VSAT, so I'm going to start playing a little bit more aggressive, but when the VSAT goes away, um, you guys will notice that I'm going to be in the back of their map, a, a, um, a side spawn. And when my VSAT goes away, I'm, I play a little bit more campy. I don't rush as much. I don't really leave that spot until I get another radar on the air. So when I go down here, since I have VSAT up, I don't really have to worry about not being rushy because I, I know where everybody's at. And that's the great thing about VSAT. You know, if you can get that VSAT up and you have good gun skill, you can almost guarantee yourself. Well, not always guarantee, guarantee yourself because sometimes Call of Duty kind of isn't always fair as far as hit detection goes and lag so and that's especially with me because I don't have the greatest internet in the world I have like 20 megabits per second I, I think it's actually 70 but that's still not great so 
my radar is about to go away. So even with the UAV in the air, I don't always trust it because you never know if someone's running ghost. So I still play a little bit more cautiously. You're going to notice that I stay in this side of the map. I don't really move until I get another reset. I, uh, I kind of control this. I'm not necessarily camping because my definition of camping is someone that stays in one spot. Like, not... I'm still moving around. I mean, like, someone that's posted up in one area of the map and does not move at all. And they have, um... Like... Like, I, I'm, I'll make a camping video and just show you what a real camper's like. Because a lot of people think that... I sp Like, spawn camping? Like... I think that... Because, you know, I was accused of spawn camping one of Modern's... Me and Modern was accused from by of spawn camping one of his recent videos by this guy. And, you know, it's not our fault that the spawns are so easy to abuse and skyjacked. It's the developer's fault. So, it's not like we're cheating. It's not like we're hacking. It's an exploit that we do abuse and we take advantage of. And it's completely fair. And as you can see, I just dropped the nuclear right there. And, um... Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're coming up on the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching. If you did leave a if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I just want to thank Modern for giving me all the shout outs. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.